Hi, welcome to the channel, which is about science and image processing. Every year I have the opportunity to work with master's students on the medical visualisation and anatomy course, which runs at Glasgow University and in collaboration with the Glasgow School of Art. And this year I worked with Angela Douglas on a, an animation on hypertension or high blood pressure and why it's important for you to take your drugs. It's a fantastic animation and I think you'll really enjoy this one. Around one third of adults in the UK are living with high blood pressure. Although many will be unaware, as often there are no symptoms, and it is why it's often referred to as the silent killer. Hello. The best way to find Good out morning. what your blood pressure is, is to have it checked by a healthcare professional. Blood pressure increases naturally with age and varies between individuals. When it becomes too high and goes unnoticed over a prolonged period, this increases your chance of having a heart attack or a stroke. So, how does blood pressure work? We often think of the large arteries and the heart when we think of blood pressure, when actually it's the smaller, so-called resistance arteries that are the most important. Arteries have a complex layered structure that allow them to alter the diameter and length of the vessel to regulate pressure. The innermost layer is a thin film of endothelial cells in direct contact with blood which communicates to the middle layer, or media, a layer of muscle cells. The outside contains lots of elastic fibres and nerves that send signals and act on the muscular layer also. The elastic and contractile ability of arteries is important for regulating blood pressure in healthy vessels. When vessels are exposed to high blood pressure, even for a relatively short time, it causes structural changes to these arteries resulting in a loss of elasticity and a thickening of the muscular layer. This causes stiffness of the arteries, meaning they are less able to adapt. And it's not just our arteries and heart that regulate this. Other organs, such as your liver and kidneys, produce chemical signals that affect the blood vessels. So how does your medication help? Well, there are several different types of medication with a variety of names, but they broadly fit into four categories. Diuretics that usually end in ide, calcium channel blockers that end in pine, ARBs that usually end in itin, and ACE inhibitors that usually end in pril. These drugs act on different things in your body to lower your blood pressure, and your doctor will have worked out the correct combination that will suit your needs. To understand how these drugs work, we can imagine your cardiovascular system as a closed heating system with the boiler as the heart, pumping the blood through your blood vessels, the pipes, to your organs, the radiator. Most drugs inhibit or block chemical signals and cause relaxation of arteries. Diuretics lower your blood pressure by letting fluid out of the system, meaning you may need to go to the bathroom more often. Your drugs are very effective at lowering your blood pressure and significantly decreasing your chances of suffering any adverse effects of high blood pressure. However, the changes that occur to the blood vessels are not reversed by this medication. Despite the effectiveness of these medicines, many people are still at risk simply because they do not take their medication on time or as prescribed, increasing their risk of complications. It can be very challenging to take a lifelong medication, especially when you feel well without it. The solution is sticking to your routine, attending regular checkups, and educating yourself on how your medication works. 